Yo, what's good, YouTubers? YBC, and I'm back bringing a video. And in this video, I'm gonna be bringing to you guys a gameplay with the brand new Throwback Elite Diamond, Mitch Richmond. So welcome back, and this is my third upload of today. And in this gameplay, we're gonna be getting a gameplay with the Diamond Mitch Richmond. So if you guys are new, just make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, as we are less than 700 subscribers away from 10,000. You know, we're all grinding. We're all on this road to 10,000 subscribers journey together. So if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and be on this journey with us to 10,000 subscribers. Now, yes, we do indeed have him on the screen, and yes, it's in on my account. Not really has changed that much, to be honest. I mean, I still do need a point guard. I'm running Manu at point, but I really want a true point guard. Other than that, nothing much has changed. We're going to be running Richmond at the shooting guard. Now, the Mitch Richmond in general has an absolute insanely money 2K release. For those of you guys who don't know, I've been playing my team since 2K13, and in 2K13, he might have had the best release in the game. He is the original green light god. So taking a look at the card, this is the Sacramento Kings version of him, you know. He played on the Golden State Warriors, and unfortunately, he did get traded. They had a run TMC combo of Tim Hardaway, Mitch Richmond, and Chris Mullen in the 80s, and they didn't last long together. As Richmond was the first to get traded out of the three in the 80s, you know, and he did get traded to the Sacramento Kings and bought out there, but yeah. First things first, we're going to be taking a look at his size. He's 6'5", a solid 215 pounds. We're going to take a look at the badges. One, Hall of Fame badge, tireless core, as well as 14 other ones. Corner specialist, mid-range Deadeye, one-man fast break, deep-range Deadeye, limitless range, difficult shots, pick dodger, lob city passer, catch and shoot, acrobat, teardropper, Lennon's finisher, break starter, and pick and roll maestro. Moving on to the attributes right here. He does come with a 96 standing layup, 95 driving layup, 96 open mid-range, 97 open shot, three with the shoe, plus I have Mike D'Antoni's coach, so that gives him a 99 open three, but without all the boost and everything, he has just a 94 open shot three, 91 free throw, 77 driving duck, 87 ball control, so he can't speed boost, that is good. 93 speed, 89 speed with ball, 98 stamina, 87 lateral quickness, but defensive consistency is at a 77. His defense is... Based on his ratings, his defense doesn't look that great, but ultimately we're going to see how he performs in a gameplay, so let's hop into a game. No way, that's lightly contested. Good defense, and we're already leaking out, and we're going to stop top four, three, and the green, my God, from former 2Ks is back, greening that one right there. Good defense, that light, that's lightly contested, that's off, and go fade to the corner, beautiful fade, whoa! Yes, I know, these. I know what type of pants I'm wearing, but, really? Really, Richmond? These are some very comfortable pajamas, and yeah, that's, that's why I'm wearing that, but we have Richmond taking it strong to the rim with a nice slam dunk. My pony's an early timeout. He has all of our seven points. Okay, I'm gonna act like I'm using the screen, but I'm just gonna take it left all the way. Top layup. Nice. Finish from Richmond in the paint. Good steal. Good defense. Let's go. Let's stop and pop right here on a fast break. Make him respect your limitless range. Lightly contested. Doesn't matter. He gets it to go, and just like that, he has his dual takeover badge. Good defense right there. Let's stop and pop right here. 4 3. Early open. And we get that to go. And he's dazzling and dazzling on my opponent right now he's saying that he is unstoppable and my opponent has yet has has yet to have an answer to stop this man good rebound now we're out running stop and pop again oh he's respecting the jump shot so we got we gotta he's respecting the jump shot but is he respecting it too much because if, if that's the case we can make him pay nice screen and roll right here mid-range wide open and we get that to go looks like we're going to be heading into the second quarter unless he hits this full court shot Nope, perfect. We're going to be up by double digits by 10 points heading into the second. Granger off the screen, attacking in the middle. Mitch Richmond, open mid-range, somehow found himself open. Off the glass, green light, he gets it to go. He has 19 points and is shooting a very efficient so far from the field. That was a nice step back, but I got it lightly. I got a hand up. Mitch Richmond's out running. Make that pass. Good pass. Up, up. Let's go. And one. That's what I'm talking about. Way to leak out and good pass by Dirk Nowitzki. Richmond finishing off with the and one in the paint and converting the free throw. Just like that, we have a 15 point second quarter lead. It's about time I run a play and this is my money play. Quick three rip floppy in case you guys are wondering. I do run a Bucks playbook, you know, I do have a couple money plays out of there and this is one of them as he's wide open on the wing and he gets that to go. I don't know how my opponent got a hand up. It was either contested, but he still gets it to go. So one of my money plays out of the Bucks playbook is a quick three rip floppy. 
is quick three horns flex. If it's ran right, it is money. But sometimes it's not really ran right as he's come off the screen. Okay, there we go. Off the glass for a close shot. It will take it. Just like that, after that shot, we have the sec we have a second time this game. We have takeover for Mitch Richmond. Takeover time. So you know what that is? It's for in other words, when somebody has takeover, it's force feed time. Green light on the wing. Another three-pointer for Richmond. This man is unstoppable. 12 of 17, 5 of 8 from 3. He's doing his thing offensively and no signs of him slowing down anytime soon. Go to work right here. Stop and pop. Make him respect. Oh, he's on my hip. That, that's open. Let's go. Green light open for Richmond, you see. And however they're on your side or on their back, they're not going to contest it, so it's an open shot. I've been playing a ton. I've been playing a ton of Pro-Am lately, and that should have been a foul, but I'll take it. Let's go. Let's go again. If he's behind me on my hip, you know what time it is. He's on my hip. That's an open shot. Back to back to back. Green light for my boy. Back to what I was saying. I was honestly saying that I've been running a lot, and I mean a lot of Pro-Am and Rec recently. I've probably ran about 15 games in the last two days, and so I use the pure sharps. Whenever they're on my hip, or behind me, I usually crab walk a little bit and I get an open shot. This time we're going to run our money play. He read that one. That was a pretty good defense. But he's taking up with CP3. It's a good layup. Let's go to work. Let's pick up right where we left off as the second half has started. We're going to get a green light. I can't remember the last time when I made a shot without a green for this man. I believe he has like five green lights in a row. The, uh, I'm telling you guys that this man was the original green light god from 2K13. The first ever my team. Oh, Finley found himself wide open on the wing. Let's go and knock that down. We're getting, we're getting our lead back up there. Nine point lead for us. There we go. We, we got out of our cold spell. Give me that one. Let's go. Good read. Oh, stop and pop. Stop and pop. Make him respect the jump shot. Another green light. Let's go. 12 point lead now. This second half so far has been just like, wow. But anyways, we have six seconds left. Let's go to work. Mid-range, he's not stepping up. Open, and we get that one to go. Any type of separation for this man... Give me that. Give me that steal. Oh, no way that goes in. All right. We're going to be up by 10 heading into the fourth. But any type of separation for Richmond and it's open, he's likely going to knock it down. I don't think I've missed an open shot with him yet this game. Right now, I have to take advantage of the matchup. Chris Paul versus Kevin Martin. No way is a six-foot Chris Paul contesting this man. No way. Oh, attack is strong. Oh, I see. Way to fade. Mid-range fading wide open. And he still gets it to go. Like I said, I don't think he's missed an open shot yet. And with that shot, he crossed 50 point mark and we're up by 14 midway through the fourth. My pony did a quick TO. Let's go! Mitch Richmond with that steal! Out to, out to Martin. Oh, back to him. Give it to him. Mid range. It's open. And he gets that to go. He gets, I was questioning his defense all game long. He came up with a very nice. But the game closing steal. And got the game, game closing dagger. Up by 14 with a minute 27 left. Away, my opponent comes back. Moving on to the box score, Mitch Richmond finished the game with 55 total points, 1 assist, 4 steals, 6 turnovers, 22 of 35 from the field, 10 of 17 from 3, and went 1 of 1 from the free throw line. So moving on to the card review, I'm going to give this man a 9.5 out of 10. His defense didn't impress me at all. His on-ball defense was like... It wasn't the best, you know, so I'm going to deduct him a little bit there. But aside from his on-ball defense being there, that's the only reason why he's getting a deduction. Otherwise, offensively, he is a walking bucket. Mid-range, three, dunk, speed boost, playmaking. He has it all. He has it all in his offensive arsenal, you know. He has like 93, 90 plus in every single category for like mid-range, three, everything. The man is a walking bucket on offense. The reason why I'm giving him a 9.5 out of 10 is because of his defense. He's 6 foot 5, kind of, kind of really, I wouldn't really say he's short. He's a decent size, but his on ball, he's just kind of skinny, and he, his on ball wasn't the best, in my opinion. Now, after using both Richmond and Martin, I honestly like, and I honestly think that Martin is better, mainly because of his size. His wingspan is, and his defense is a lot better than Richmond. They're both identical players, Martin and Richmond. The, the difference between the two is that Martin is longer, lengthier, his wingspan's wider. He's also taller as well. You mix that in together, that's better defense than Richmond. They both have like they both have similar stats offensively, and but Kevin Martin's also taller, so he's going to be a lot, a little bit more athletic as well. That's a difference, you know. And also, there's a hundred thousand MT difference between the two. I honestly think that instead of paying a hundred plus more thousand for Richmond, I honestly think that you guys should get Martin and save 100,000 MT. Now, is Richmond going to make my team? Honestly, he's not, because I already have Kevin Martin. I'm gonna sell 
Richmond back to get my MT back, you know? I'm gonna get my MT and save like 100 plus thousand MT because I already have Martin who I think, I honestly think, is better, like, all around, all around better, to be honest. That's about it. If you did use Richmond and you have used Martin, let me know in the comments your opinions on the card, you know? I always love reading comments. I always respond to comments as well. So yeah, if you use Richmond or Martin, just let me know how they perform for you, which one do you think is better, you know? Like I said, I'm, I always read comments and I always love responding to comments. But yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys had an amazing day and enjoyed this third upload of today. We're grinding to this 10,000 subscribers. We're grinding together to get this 10,000 subscribers goal. We are going to hit it pretty soon, you know. Tomorrow, I'm going to aim for a double upload as well. Be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will catch you guys in the next one. And it's YBC and I'm out. Take it easy. Peace.